I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here today. I'm going to be building me a little test bench for my uh, new bench computer. And I've actually invested in an open air bench. Uh, it's called an Electric Magic Creative Personality DIY chassis. And that's what I have right here. And we're just going to go ahead and pull out these parts and have a look at what we have here. Oh, this looks like a handle, you know. Didn't notice in any of the pictures uh, this um, had a handle, to be honest. So maybe that's something new that they have added. So, I mean, basically we're supposed to be looking like this. This is what the, my open air bench is supposed to look like. And I think that's perfect for what I do here in my shop because uh, you know, I have drives and all that I, I, can, I can hook in cables and hook directly to the board, SATA cables, power cables to drives and everything. Just gives me a lot more freedom here. So you just got to open up these bag and bags of uh, parts here. Looks like we got some rails here. Some more rails. Okay, that's all we have in there. We also have, uh... oh look, instructions. Huh. Okay, that is going to help me a lot, I think. Huh, not. Here's some more. There you go. That's what I get. That's all they give you for instructions. Let me get these parts sorted out and um, just, I'll just uh, see if I can give at least some sorts of instructions on how to put this together. I have no idea. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, so bear with me here because there's barely no instructions to this. I'm going basically off of pictures and all for the most part. So, so in your kit here, you will have uh, at least mine. Mine is for, for micro ATX uh, motherboard, which is what I wanted. You will have uh, two short pieces of these brackets here. You'll have four medium length pieces of brackets and then you'll have two longer pieces of brackets this is to me i'm i want this to be vertically mounted so these two short ones will be the base these uh, long ones will be the ones that go here. These guys will be the ones that go horizontal to mount the board to. So here's what I've determined so far. You will get a pack of these funny looking L-shaped uh, metal brackets. All right. And you will also get a pack of, find it. Yeah, yeah, and along with these pack of metal brackets, you get these little small threaded, I can get one, these teeny tiny little threaded uh, guys here. These little threaded rivets here, I'll call them screw into the threaded holes of these L-shaped brackets, all right? And they give you a little tool that you can fit in to it that turns it so you can tighten it. These L-shaped brackets slide into the slots of these cross braces here and you can tighten down the little screw 
and that keeps the bracket secured into place. It's all pretty, pretty common sense stuff there. And then, like I say, these taller ones, they go in like so. And they can also be tightened down by these little screws. So basically, actually, which uh, what I think you would want to do is put the bracket, vertical bracket here on the side away from, so you can adjust however you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble. Actually, you know what I think I need to do is, uh, before I assemble this vertically, I think I need to, like I said, these shorter ones are going to go here. But I need to know about how, where along the lines to to place them based upon my the holes on my motherboard, right? And another thing this, that I haven't figured out yet, but I'm sure I will. Three of these cross braces have a plastic insert that have holes in them. I'm, I haven't quite determined exactly what this for or how the motherboard is going to mount to this thing, but I'm sure it'll all become clear to me once I go to try to put this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the larger braces aside. I'm going to set the base brackets aside and I'm going to take uh, these and figure out how the motherboard is going to mount on this is what I'm going to do first. So let's do that now. I'm going to remove this board to show you guys. So that's exactly what these slots are for, these, these plastic inserts here, just like I thought. These uh, The holes that are in these plastic inserts uh, match the pattern of motherboard mounting holes. So basically, you got one, two, three mounting holes here up top that are spaced, and these match perfectly with the holes to mount the motherboard onto. All right, and same thing when you go down to to these holes, mounting holes on in the sort of the middle of the board, the second row. Same thing, same pattern. So they're going to line up there, and then. I guess, you know, with this guy here, uh, you know, you, the holes here are kind of offset. I don't think I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to use this one here. And I'll just use one, one of these brackets here for that. So that's going to be three brackets holding that up. And then this one with no plastic slot, it actually kind of goes down on the lower end of the of the frame and that's going to be an area to mount like uh, drives or whatever uh, at least that's what I'm getting from it so far so I do know this too that this by looking at the pictures this board does not rest right on these uh, bars here metal bars obviously it'll short out so they're so that kind of explains to me what these are where are they do, 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 do these. Makes total sense. These are the standoffs that we're going to use. I just got to figure out how to get these in here. Um, so maybe let me slide this out. I am going to assume I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to put it on the through the hole through the back end of this and I'm going to take the standoff screw that on there possibly Let's see if that works yeah I mean that'll work I think I got this right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and basically do this to the rest of these I'm going to go ahead and assume I'm doing this right I'm just going to put put these motherboard screws and these standoffs on like this. 
slide these on and that's going to be the motherboard standoff so I'll go ahead and do that to these other three and uh, figure out where we're going to go from there okay there we go I've got the standoffs mounted on these uh, brackets here sorry I mean I, I may not be naming these right there's no names on the instructions, so I'm going to call them whatever they are. These bars, mounting bars. There's your standoffs. I think I got this figured out. So they give you a couple of extra screws for what goes in the bottom of these. They look like regular motherboard screws that you would get, you know, for a case. But I, what they do include is exactly nine of these guys, which are longer. They look like motherboard screws, but they're longer. And those are what's going to go motherboard side, and that's going to get screwed all the way down on each one. I'll show you here in a minute. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do now, what makes the most sense to me right now, is to go ahead and mount these vertical bars here on here like this. And once I do that, then I can get everything mounted up on these bottom plates here. So just should be pretty straightforward I think I'm I think I'm in a good place here with this so far so how you mount this is let's see how do you mount this we're going to bring this down on here like this and bring it all the way down it's going to be four of them actually, so I'm going to bring four of these all the way down on here. Same thing on the other side. Like that. Okay, and I got these little screws. I'm flip them over. I'm going to go ahead and get these little screws, you know, started in here. These little, uh, threaded, threaded little screws. I'll just get them started. I'm going to pull this one all the way down to the bottom. Um, well, at least, at least to right here, I think. I, those are the ones I don't think I'll be using, but I need those to mount. So I'm going to put it there. At the moment, they don't have to be perfectly even simply because nothing's going to be going on with them at the moment. So now these guys are going to mount like this. They're going to go just like that. Is going to go just like this. And once again, so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to go ahead and do, you get the idea, right? They're all they're all mounting in like this. I just got to tighten them up. I'm not going to tighten nothing up until I get my motherboard on and lined up. But for right now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get these all these little screws kind of put in these uh, bracket holes here. So I'll just have them in there. So all I got to do is tighten them up when I'm ready. Okay, I'll do that and uh, we'll pick up where I left off from there. Uh, slide one of these out. Kind of let you see. But once again, there's different uh, revisions of this kit apparently because some of the things I see online are a little bit different. Um, these are new, I think. This plastic insert is what holds your standoffs. They slide right in like this. So just pay attention while you're assembling this to know which way you want to mount your, your motherboard here. Which direction. Um, I'm going to be what's mounting this what's called, I would say, upside down and basically I want, I want all of these to face a certain direction. So you either mount it like this or you mount it like that. And you put your standoffs in accordingly. All right, and then these, you can see with these brackets here, I've, I've got all the little 
the little uh, screw tabs in, uh, not fully in. I don't, you know, I want to be able to move it around and slide it and adjust it. So let me put this back. These slide right in, pretty easy. Okay, so I think this is going to be right. So I have this bottom one here. Like I say, that's for drives. I've tightened that up for just to give it a little bit of a stability right now. But what? But really, what I'm going to do. I think I may be doing this wrong, but if I am, oh well. I want to go ahead and mount my motherboard on here so I have the perfect angle here. And I think I'm going to mount this to where every, the board is, is up top flush with the top of this. So let me do that. We're just going to set the board on here and line up the holes. see how far I can get here. I wonder if these actually should be on the bottom. You know, I may just do that. That might be the first thing that I did wrong. Maybe, let me see. Maybe not. Maybe not. See, so that's going to go onto that standoff hole right there. Yeah, I'm going to um, flip these brackets like this. I'm going to, instead of going up, I'm going to go down. Interesting. Down. Does that make a difference? Should be all right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine like that. Yep, it'll work. Kind of makes more sense too. So I'm going to flip these brackets around on all of these. And then I'll mount the motherboard. And maybe go from there. All right, I've got those turned around like I want. I think that's going to be better. Let me, I'm going to take these longer motherboard screws. And I'm going to use that to mount this motherboard on here. Um, gently bring that up like this. All right, that's going to go like that. I got one there. Let me see if I can line up. It's going to go about like that. Let's see. Uh, not quite, but that's okay. That's close. Let me, let me, let me bring that to there and see. This needs to go up to here, down here. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and put the motherboard screw in on this one. And I'm going to go loosely. We'll mount that loosely for now. So I have a little bit of play. And I'm going to come down to this next bracket because I didn't tighten it down all the way. Move that to the position I need it in. I see those, so I'm going to go ahead and there's probably different ways of doing this. I'm probably doing it backwards, but what is the right way, really? Yeah. That, that looks pretty good. I think we're in a good place here. Hey. So here's the part where I kind of scratched my head a little bit. I want this motherboard to be up almost to the very top, and it is, so that's good. So I don't want this to slide around any more than what it has to. So I got to tighten, uh, I think I could start off by tightening these bottom ones here. These, um, these brackets. I think I'm doing the right thing here. I hope I am. Right here, these down here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. Yeah, all right. 
Let's take, go on ahead and tighten those up. Tighten that up. And tighten this up. Okay, at least I know now that this won't go anywhere. I guess I can go ahead and just nail down these motherboard screws now. Now that I'm happy with the position of it. So at this point, you should be looking like this. And it should be rock solid, not going anywhere. Uh, everything's looking pretty even. Um, I'm sure it's not. Wait, it does? Okay. Yeah, I can adjust this top bracket. Okay, I gotcha. So you should be looking something like this. So now that you're at least somewhat s stable, you can flip it over very gently, lay it down on its heat sink like this. Okay. And uh, you want to get you want to get this top bracket here even on both sides. Okay, so I want to try to adjust the things here to where it looks even. That looks a lot better to me now. I'm looking at the top ledge here. Just making sure everything looks Yep, and down the side here. It looks pretty good on lining the board up with the edges here. I think I think that's that's the, the ticket right there. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and lock it down. All of these uh, little brackets. Lock them down. So I am happy with how that looks now. This one down. Looking good. All right, and this one. Look one last time to make sure I'm happy with how that looks. Oh yeah, it's looking good. All right, now we can adjust this one, this bottom one here. Get it lined up how we like it. Now I may or may not move this further up. I don't know, but for right now, we're putting it here. I may not like it there. We're looking like a real test bench now, huh? Got the main part out of the way. Motherboard's mounted. Lovely, lovely. So in this pack, it's another pack here comes this funny looking U-shaped bracket and these screws. These are some oversized looking square nuts, but those actually fit in these slots nicely. See there? Perfect. So that's gonna allow for this bracket, which is your power supply bracket, to get mounted. Now, this is the time when you're going to decide which orientation that this is going to be sitting up in and take that into consideration. I want to go on this side with my power supply. So, I'm just going to take uh, two of these and we're going to 
slide them in the slot. Like this, I think I can stand this up to where you can see. Open them up a little bit. Trial and error, trial and error. And I think we're going to go like this. I'm just going to try it and see. All right, we'll leave that loose as usual. And I just want to see how this power supply is going to be sitting in here. And I guess we'll be mounting similar to this maybe. So it'll be fan side down. Let me see how that's going to go. Ooh, that don't make no sense. Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. Ah, you know what? I think I have this bracket on upside down. Let's try it the other way. This way. Okay. We got that switched around. Let's see if that makes any more sense here. Let's see. Okay. So I think I'm liking this and I think I'm liking where this bracket is sitting. It's helping to support the power supply. So, so far I think I'm good on that. So there's like two different ways you can do this. Uh, one, of course, if you want the fan facing this way. Fan facing up, which is not uh, the common way of doing it. And you'll have to put a screw in here and down here. Um, but if you flip it on the other side, you know, it'll be right. But you can also flip it this way. And then you'll just have two screws at the bottom, which is just fine. And I think that's how we're going to mount this. I don't want it quite at the bottom. Let's go with it. See this right about there. I can adjust the bracket. And that way we have some gap space here for the power supply to breathe. Ooh, very nice. That is pretty good there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Very good. Tighten that. Tighten that. There you go. So far so good. That is secured nicely. Oh yeah. Looking very good. So really all I need to do is get the feet installed on this and we can stand this guy up. I would figure with these you would probably want to go oh I don't know probably a third of the way forward. So I'm going to try it maybe something like that. Tighten it up. That's on there. Now is that how I want it? Uh, I may want it the other way around because I want this to sit up against the wall as flush as possible. Put it like this. Yeah, that's it. Here and here. Just like that. Now I just got to flip it over. There we go. Nice. And now we can tighten up these feet. And we can stand this up and finish things off from there. Aha! There we go. And now, one thing I did notice is that the power supply isn't sitting down all the way on here. Like I was hoping, I was kind of looking at it backwards. So I'm going to adjust my power supply and very easily done. Just loosen those two screws a little bit. 
and it slides right down and look at that. So now the power supply is kind of, it's a little more secure now. Looks good. So that is awesome. I, I'm really liking that. Turning out better than I really had thought, to be honest. And I think they've added this handle. Uh, that I don't think it was part of the original kit. I think this is new. Oh, but I can't get that in there. Dog. I can't get that in there because it's flush here. Wow. I can fix that. You know, this was supposed to go on top of here. But I can't slide these into that groove because it's it's flush here. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I can put the handle here if I wanted, but that makes no sense. Right there is where you want it. So I can, all I have to do is take off, take out this one, watch this. I'm going to take off this one motherboard standoff here. This motherboard screw. Turn it around. These two bracket screws. This. All right, you ready for this? Then I just bring it up. Bring it up enough just to slide these in. Ha <laughs> How about that? And then look and look very closely I'll drop that back down flush where I had it put back in that motherboard screw and now I don't know I mean I can't push that up I mean I'm it won't budge so let's see what I can do I will have links to this test kit in the description below this video. I'll also have a link to all of the parts that I used in this build. Look at there. How about that? A handle. That's, that's new to this kit, man. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. Stuff down. We got a button. I know what that's for. This is for the hard drives. I need drives. I know what that is. I'll show you guys how to put that in real quick. And this, now I don't know what this is. I got to figure this one out. I'm not sure. This, this, this is something slides in there. I'll figure that out. Oh, look. Caps, too. Got caps here. How about that? To kind of finish it off. How about that? Cap, a cap down here for this. How about that? Man, boy, that's a little awkward. That's not really going on there that well. So right here you got a bracket and a couple screws. And basically what this bracket here does is it goes, it goes right here. And this is what supports a video card. However way your configuration is, is how you secure a video card into this, uh, into this configuration. So uh, I'm not going to be using a video card. However, there, I'm quite sure there'll be times when I may be testing a video card or I may want to add a video card. Let's have a look at the power button real quick. We have some sort of plate similar to the power supply plate. And I can already see maybe probably what's going to happen here. Yep. So this is going to fit through here and it's going to mount right there. It's going to be here. So I'm not sure, but I could actually fit this anywhere I wanted to on this side of the board uh, back here, maybe. And then obviously, you know about the The hard drive brackets here, sort of like an L-shaped 
L-shaped brackets that you can put anywhere you like on the back side, behind it or whatever. Okay, so here's the end result. Quite tidy, I must say. I really like it. I used to have a full desktop computer over here on the corner of my bench for my uh, bench computer. And now I'm going to have this. Uh, it's going to just be perfect. It's, it turned out exactly as I wanted. Uh, it's exactly what I thought it was going to do. So if I ever need to test a drive in this, all I got to do is just plug in a, a, uh, a SATA power cable in here and just plug in a, uh, just a SATA data connector in there and test the drive. Uh, so easy, so easy. Uh, I've got an NVMe drive here and then I've also mounted, you see here I got my power button. My power button is here. I like, I like where that's at. That's where I decided to put it. The, hit, the wires can be hidden pretty well behind the board. Turn it around. Got my, I uh, just got a little one terabyte uh, mechanical drive there. And, you know, I, I can add stuff to this if I want to. Like I say, I could test a video card on this fairly easy. Just add my bracket here, pop the card in. Um, I can add the uh, VGA cable in the back here, no problem. All of that would be quite simple to do to do my testing. And then the way this takes up space, man, look at that. Just, just lovely. It doesn't take up much space at all. I like it. It turned out really well. Um, honestly, with this, with this test bench, I, th I would say it's worth the money. It's very solid, really solid test bench. Uh, metal, everything's metal. Uh, it goes together pretty well. Hopefully video, a video like this will help anybody who wants to make quick work out of putting it together. All in all, it took me a couple of hours actually to figure it all out, get it all assembled. Uh, not including, you know, getting Windows installed and all that, but with wire management and everything like that. Uh, the only other thing I will say that I, uh, everything's great about this, honestly. I love the way they added the handle. I love that. Uh, but I will say that this, the, the, the paint on this, on these brackets and all, it scratches really easy. So that's the only thing, if I had a complaint, the the uh, the paint scratches off pretty easy on this, but uh, honestly, man, I'll tell you, I love this guy. I love it. This is the Micro ATX version. Uh, they do have an ATX version. Uh, it came in from China. I had to wait uh, several weeks for it to come in, but it got here uh, very well built. Difficult to put together. Not really difficult, but it takes some some figuring. But hopefully this video helps somebody to 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 uh, make a, a quicker job than mine. Hey, love it. This is my test bench. Hope it helps somebody out. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.